Okay, so uh, yeah, I really like that uh, that 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 part at the end about uh, you you put your clothesline in the backyard, not the front yard. That's the the way to kind of explain it all. Um, so, have there been any uh, updates to Earn It or Leda since um, since we recorded this video, which was almost a month ago? Yeah, not actually a whole lot because uh, Congress has been been out of session. Um, so, uh, as, I, as I understand it, there there's it's likely that uh, will come back into session uh, before the uh, the election. There are some uh, uh, you know, COVID response. Uh, uh, bills and, and the like that uh, they are going to want to get to, uh, so they may get to uh, get to earn it. Um, and uh, if that starts moving forward, then uh, it will be you know all the more important for people to speak out to their representatives and, and express their uh, their views on it. And uh, anything else you'd like to add to the video that we maybe didn't cover? As we said towards the end of the video, you know, there's a, there's a lot to uh, uh, say about the whole topic of of encryption, though. Uh, you know, and 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 watching it, uh, I thought actually, yeah, we did a good job covering things. Okay. Um, I mean, uh, uh, Dwayne, do you do you feel like there's any uh, particular aspect of this that applies specifically to the southeast, or um, can you think of anything that that, that is going on here? Um, that we may not be as aware of out in California. I, 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 we can't, yeah, we can't hear your microphone. No, it's not, yeah, the it's microphone's not working. The browser. Uh, you, could, you could feel free to type. Yeah, also, you could type in the chat room if you if you want to. Okay, I think this is a national problem, not just regional. So everyone should uh, pay attention since it will affect everyone. Um, I think that's a pretty good answer. We got another question during the video. It's, uh, uh, is the impact similar to what happened with Kalea? Um, so Kurt is kind of off the, I guess Kurt is kind of off at the moment. Would you have an answer for that? Not familiar enough with the former to answer it. Sorry. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. Kalei is the Communications Assistance to Law Enforcement Act, um, and that is that it was some years ago. And I'm uh, not sure if there's any current or uh, recent developments on that. That was some time ago. Okay. Uh, if anybody else has any anybody else has any other questions, or if you'd like to. Uh, join in. Uh, feel free. The camera should be unlocked at this point. I think Kurt is trying to come back in here. Hey, Scott. And, uh, yes. Dwayne, good to see you. Um, yeah, my background, uh, I did cryptography for the military. It was a spook. And um, one of the things that I think the government fails to grasp is the disproportionate impact of the changes they want to make to cryptography. Yes, it's regrettable that there are, there are evil people that use cryptography to do evil, but they are dwarfed by all the good things that are protected by cryptography. And so they're essentially throwing the baby out with the bathwater. 
And I think the reason for that is they don't really understand the impact of good that cryptography actually has. And all they can see and they're blinded by is the few cases of evil they see and they want to do something good about it. So their their intentions are good, but the impact is disproportionate. It does far more damage to, to uh, the good that encryption brings than it does to break encryption for the catch the few evil people. And that's mm-hmm. that's the the trouble. Whenever you have to do legislation, you have to make sure that you balance that what you're doing and trying to fix doesn't actually cause more damage than what the original problem was. There are no perfect solutions. And here they're trying to look for a perfect solution. And from a mathematical perspective, what they're doing, for those who don't understand the technical issues of, of encryption, effectively what they're saying is, you know, we're doing math with pi and it's an irrational number is very difficult. It, you know, it'd be much easier if we just made it four. I could do that math in my head. So why don't we just do that? It would make things so much easier. But the disproportional impact would be that every engineering solution, every building would fall down, every bridge would fall down, satellites would fall out of the sky, all our technology would stop working because pi cannot be changed to four, no matter how much you want that result. And that's essentially what they're doing with encryption. The impact to the negative is disproportionately bad than what they're actually trying to prevent. So the question is, how do we bring to them the understanding that the good that encryption does bring to the table far outweighs the few cases of bad that happen? Hmm. Prayer, is your microphone working? Uh, yeah, I've been having some uh, connection difficulties, so I had to uh, try and fix that. So hopefully it is better now. Um, I think I was just coming back in to hear about uh, the plans to uh, re rework Pi. Uh, and I don't know if you, you mentioned this while I was out, but this is reminding me of when the uh, the Prime Minister of Australia uh, said that uh, uh, you know the laws of, of mathematics uh, don't don't apply in Australia. It's Australian law that applies, which mm-hmm. is you know a, a way of characterizing exactly how politicians are are looking at it. You. You have to do what we say, uh, regardless of what is uh, what is possible. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that uh, is very disturbing about Earn It, in in, in its uh, especially in its, its uh, uh, original form, uh, is it tried to address these concerns by saying we'll have a panel of, of experts who will figure this out you know we know that right now everyone's saying it's impossible but you know who knows uh so we'll have our uh, experts figure it out and then the attorney general got to make the final decision uh, the attorney general w- w- would review what the experts had to say and then decide whether it was possible or not and you know i think everyone involved knew like how that was going to go that they were going to have uh, experts saying it was a you know a backdoor or a bad idea. Uh, so from the government uh, uh, friendly uh, experts saying ah oh, it's totally fine, and the AG would be like yep looks like it's fine to me. But they would have uh, 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 you know made that so that the debate about the bill, in their hope at least, would not include a debate about whether uh, you can give people plain text access without introducing security flaws. Well, that special, you know, that special committee that was proposed is kind of a kind of a secret star council that 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 just may, you know, is kind of outside of the political process and has no real accountability. So, um, I think we historically we've seen this kind of thing before. Uh, you don't as that that's just basically not what you want to do, and uh, the, the attorney general's office has, has become more politicized than probably ever before. So, um, it's just yeah. not a not a good solution. And I think uh, actually, you know, that, that this wasn't the first time this this idea has come up in this space. Uh, in the in the UK, uh, the I believe is the Home Secretary of the UK would be the one who would make sort of the final decision on whether so that they say yeah you have to give plain text access to encrypted communications under their Investigatory Powers Act uh, unless you say you know it's not possible, uh, and then you can say uh, you know I, I can't do this. They, they, there have been several instances in this when they're coming up against 
uh, you know, uh, math scientists and such, of trying to uh, make it so that uh, scientists don't get the, the final word, and a politician is uh, is always in the mix. Uh, so, any other thoughts we'd like to cover about this? Uh, do you think there are any any other attempts outside of Earned or Leda uh, that 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 uh, might address the encryption question? And Dwayne says, not yet, but if this fails, I'm sure the usual suspects will return. So. Mm. Uh, sorry, I lost the, the connection again for a second. I, I believe this big, big blue button is not well set up for those of us who have slower connections. It may be. I mean, this is the, the first time we've tried to use this. So uh, I noticed that you got your camera off. It may be for the best right now. So, uh, Andrew's typing a comment. No streaming tool is any good for slower connections, yeah. Yeah, it's time to, time to get with the, uh, the 20s, since we're in the 20s now. So uh, did anybody have any difficulties with seeing the video while it was running? I'm just curious about that. Um, did, did you have any difficulty seeing it? Did you see anything coming up over it or anything distracting? No problems, OK. Look fine. You were in and out. That's good. Okay. All right. Well, this is, I mean, this is our, our you know, we've had to, in general, with Dragon Con this year, you know, we had to switch things pretty suddenly. We didn't make the decision until after July 4th, and we sat around for a while trying to figure out what to do, and then we really didn't start doing pre-recorded material uh, until late July and August, and then uh, we had just very little time left to put together live stuff, so this is this is a watch party, but it's also you know part of the live stuff too. Uh, so I just tried to wrap this around the video, um, but I do want to uh, thank everyone for joining today, and uh, I guess we'll we'll uh, try to wrap it up now. At least I'll try to wrap up the uh, recorded portion. Uh, we can hang out here a little bit longer if you'd like to um, chat for a little bit. Yeah, if you'd like to. Uh, I will have to, let's see, I guess I'll have to shut this down by about 6.30. But if you'd like to chat, if you'd like to come in on the camera or, or, or chat with each other, that's fine with me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, Kurt is trying to reconnect. Well, we'll, we'll uh, let Kurt reconnect to see if he wants to say a final word here. All right, am I uh, back on? Yeah, you're back on. So I'm trying to wrap it up. If you have some final thoughts you'd like to give, no, uh, my apologies for having the connection issues, but uh, thanks for organizing this, and uh, uh, great to be here. Okay, well, thanks. And then, Dwayne, if you have any final things. Thanks, Scott. I'm going to sign off now. <laughs> All right, thanks, everyone. I'm going to end the official portion here, and uh, we'll see you the next, uh, the next uh, item up is the webcomics talk, and that will be at 7 o'clock, and... Uh, just head back to our schedule. Let me put the schedule URL uh, in the chat. And it's actually not at this particular instance of Big Blue Button. It will be uh, at another instance. Each talk has their own instance so that we can record separately.
So uh, thanks, everyone, and I hope to see you uh, either at 7 o'clock or later this weekend. Uh, goodbye for now.